them to, uh, to get involved. So we'll give some more information about how to work with the history land of the sites. This is on? Yep. We got started. This is very exciting. Uh, to play with uh, the garden on a big scale. Uh, just while Karen gets this started up, uh, I just want to mention that the, the City of Guelph staff have been incredibly supportive uh, in getting started. This is really our, our flagship uh, site, um, and it's okay that this is PDF. Okay. 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 Yeah, this is uh, the project really galvanized the group and brought us all together. So. I'm just going to speak about uh, two or three minutes about it. Uh, if you have some questions, you're welcome to um, ask me after, uh, just to so we can keep on schedule here. So, anyways, I'm, I'm Kevin Butt. Uh, I don't have an official title at this point, uh, so just call me a presentation guy. Uh, I think most people are familiar with the site, but just for some context for anyone new, um, it's on the east side as well. There's a little. Uh, this is Speedvale, uh, Watson, Eastview. Uh, the property is owned by the City of Guelph and we've uh, signed a, a, an agreement to uh, do this amazing thing there. Uh, the landfill actually closed in 2013, uh, 2000, 2003. Um, this is the area that was landfilled. And uh, over here is uh, a new park, a sports park. And, multi-use park that's going to be opening this summer. Um, timing is really great because we're getting up and running and there's optimism that um, our, our plot will, will be looking good by uh, the time that this opens uh, in hopefully the July long weekend. So we'll be able to celebrate two things at once. So this is what we got started in, in 2012. Uh, it's, it's Dominated by uh, fescue grass, um, incredibly aggressive. So we want to get that under control. So we started with some vegetation control and mowing, and this is what it looked like in the fall. Uh, the, the fall came sort of fast, and it, it got cold faster than we anticipated. So um, it, it it prevented us from doing uh, as much as we wanted to do this fall. But we do have some time in the spring to catch up. And so 2013, we'll, we'll continue with the vegetation control. Um, we've, we've got some uh, supporting principle uh, to get the site over tiller um, by city park staff. Uh, I've got a meeting on Monday about that. We'll do another vegetation control, uh, seed installation, and then two mows uh, just to keep the annual weeds under control. And then uh, as far as maintenance, uh, this, this is going to be a bit of a, a hot potato. We're not sure uh, what's going to come up. We know that the, the fescue is the, the most uh, aggressive uh, uh, plant that we're trying to control, but sometimes uh, the devil you know uh, prevents you from knowing the devil you don't. So once we get the fescue under control, who knows what comes up. So there might be some adaptive management to get uh, anything from uh, thistle to spurge under control. And then we'd like to get started on the second plot. This was a picture that was taken yesterday. I didn't enter the site because it's not legally open, but you can you can see right there that there's that sort of lighter orange patch. And it you can see this is from the entrance on Watson, so you can pull over safely and uh, have a look. And, and it really jumps out of the landscape right now. So everything else is tall grass around here, and then this is very deep down. So we're just looking forward to um, things getting activated at the site in terms of its, its spring growth and then we'll, we'll get some vegetation control started on it uh, so that we can uh, start eating it down and get the good stuff in. Uh, uh, maybe I'll take three questions if there are any. Yep. Well, I'm just curious as to why you wrote a causing more disturbance as opposed to just putting like maybe six inches of some type of Yeah, so the question was, uh, why are we going to rototiller rather than uh, build up the soil? Uh, we have a number of constraints that I didn't go through uh, in terms of uh, this being a landfill site that's uh, heavily controlled by um, 
requirements that the city has to meet for the ministry environment, uh, with this being a closed landfill. Uh, and um, going up or going down in terms of soil level is, is not an option. Uh, it has to continue shedding water or reducing the water pools. Uh, the, by rototillering only about uh, one to one and a half inches, we're not going to be getting those uh, those deep seeds to, to germinate. It's uh, anyone who's tried to dig up grass knows there's a heavy underground thatch that's created. So we'll just bust that up and, and fluff that up so that the, the seeds can get started. Okay. Any, any others? Is fescue a native plant? Uh, there are native fescues. This one was um, uh, likely created from a, a European source, and then it's been so altered that um, it, it's, it's been developed so it, it, it does what it's supposed to and that's to aggressively um, colonize uh, bare soil uh, to prevent erosion so uh, these, these species are perpetuated by agriculture and, and landscaping to do exactly what it's supposed to do and that in this setting it's good but when you're fighting against it it's hard. One more? Thank you very much, Karen. Thank you. There will be the chance, of course, as we say, feel free to approach Kevin any time during the day if you would like any more uh, information um, on the uh, landfill site. One always seems to think of questions afterwards. Um, I'm wondering if you could have a little bit of light just temporarily. Thank you. <laughs> 